you know, failure is a part of success. Um, and this is a society that is very open to failures as a stepping stone to um, going on to doing bigger and more impactful things in the world. So Symphony Commerce is enterprise level commerce infrastructure on demand for branded manufacturers. Uh, what that means is if you are you know, a branded manufacturer um, and you need to reach out to your customers, whether it be through website or through marketplaces like in US, Amazon or Nordstrom.com, or you need to go and reach out to boutiques, you need a lot of infrastructure from taking the orders, processing the orders, fulfilling the orders, and Symphony provides a world-class enterprise level infrastructure to any branded manufacturer so they can focus on what they're good at, which is making product, designing products, and creating a beautiful brand ethos while Symphony delivers the, the back-end infrastructure so they can conduct commerce. Symphony, you know, first powers on end-to-end -end commerce stack. So it's not just about taking an order or running a website. It's about having the infrastructure to to process all those orders, like the guts of commerce, which is inventory management and order management. And then finally, Symphony brings the back-end fulfillment infrastructure, so businesses don't have to go set up their own warehouses or work with 3PLs. They can partner with Symphony to have a multi-warehouse distribution centers all over the United States uh, that they can use in on, an, on a pay-as-you-go basis on demand. I think the second big thing is our focus on brands. So we don't work with resellers or retailers. We only work with branded manufacturers. And one of the core problems branded manufacturers have is their ability to run multi-channel commerce. So not only run a direct-to-consumer commerce, but also business-to-business -business or uh, commerce. And on Symphony platform, they can run all the channels on one platform. Um, I think third is our focus on enterprise level customers. So we built the platform from day one to be enterprise class. So companies that are very large can derive um, you know, the sophistication and the richness that is needed from an infrastructure without ever having to build it. It is a very natural fit for us to go to Asia. Um, I think timing wise, we're probably looking at 2017. Um, to actually have our physical presence there in terms of warehouses or warehouse partners in terms of having our platform stack fully um, compatible uh, with those markets, whether it be currency or language. Uh, but for now, one of the areas where we're working in the Asian markets is the brands that are either owned or run in those countries, helping them expand into or activate U.S. markets which is a massive opportunity. On our, the, the, the brands that can be partnering with us, you know, people who are in the food and beverage space, people who are in the fashion and apparel brands, um, that would be one. I think two would be people, the logistics companies that can partner with us to provide a great infrastructure on the back end. And infrastructure companies, right? I mean, Japanese also already has great marketplaces like Rakuten. Um, and so I think connecting with those marketplaces um, to help deliver a great infrastructure to some of their brands which are larger could also be very meaningful. My name is Harish Abbott. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Symphony Commerce. Symphony Commerce is uh, an enterprise class commerce infrastructure as an on-demand service. Uh, we would love to partner with more uh, Japanese uh, businesses both to enable them to come to the United States and then finally taking some of the businesses that are running on Symphony's platform into Japan. Uh, we would love to be in touch with anyone who's interested in learning more about us. You can always reach us out at www.symphonycommerce.com and uh, we'll be happy to, to connect with you.